How is it going, everybody? I am AB Rhombus, aka Abnormal Rhombus, and I am bringing you something new today. And don't worry, Shell Shock Live and Faster Than Light are not going anywhere. I'm just introducing more content to the to the channel to keep up the variety, keep things interesting and fun, get a couple different series going, so that you know you guys got a bunch of content to work with. I got a bunch of content to make. I'm excited for this one, Project Zomboid. This one's going to be fun. This is a zombie apocalypse type of game. So we're going to jump right in. You guys are going to see. And you guys might hear or catch me jumping a lot in this game. I get really into it. And uh, you'll hear some moans and stuff out of nowhere. And it it might make you jump too. So get ready. Because this game's going to be a lot of fun. Alright, so we're going to just go into initial infection. And essentially what's going to happen is it's... We're going to see how long we can survive. Certain things will happen in the game, like power will get shut off, water will get shut off at a certain point. The initial infection is, you know, as the outbreak happens. So, you know, there's going to be a smaller horde. There's recently infected zombies with reduced senses and limited migration. So, things are going to be a little bit easier than normal. As we get the hang of the game, we'll advance to different scenarios. We, I do want to play on normal or hard. So, let's see. We are actually going to start on hard. I think playing on hard will be good for us we'll only be given water and food we're not going to be given a bunch of weapons or bags or anything like that to carry stuff so we're just going to go in with water and food on the initial infection we can go to mall draw kentucky or west point kentucky which one would be good let's go to mall mall draw just because it's a smaller population so we are playing on hard so it might be a little bit more difficult Okay, so this is character creation. So, you know, we kind of take a look at our character here. I'm actually going to randomize. Let's see what we get. We get a girl, Shirley Collins. Let's let's do a couple randomize, and we're going to stop here. Shirley Jackson. Okay. So let's see how long we can survive with Shirley Jackson. Get ready. Okay. So now we're going to set occupation and traits. So what we can do is we can set... An occupation will which will affect how the character is in game with the stats that they start with we can select traits that'll affect how we play in game so let's 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 go here and let's randomize this as well this is interesting huge impacts okay we have three points of spend so we can get another attribute so we are going to be a police officer so our aiming is going to be up three we're going to be a little bit quicker on our feet, and our reloading is going to be up. So what we want to do is we want to get find a firearm, but we got to be careful. Shooting a firearm will attract zombies, so we got to be got to be sure we are careful when we do fire our firearms. So we have obese, <laughs> which is going to make us really slow, and we're going to get tired really easy. Our XP gains are going to go down because we are a slow learner. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're asthmatic, so our endurance is gonna be much quicker. Agoraphobic, so we're gonna panic when we're outdoors. Conspicuous, more likely to be spotted by zombies. Guys, this is, this is gonna be a quick game. Hearty appetite, so we need to eat more, or actually eat regu more regularly. We're gonna need less sleep, though, so that's good. We're gonna be able to get more done each day. So we're going to get a plus one to sprinting. So it sounds like we're going to be able to be faster but tired quicker. We're going to have a higher inventory capacity. Thick skin, so it's going to be less scratches, less breaking of the skin. So we're probably going to be able to survive injuries a lot easier. And moves faster when highly panicked. So we're going to be faster outdoors. That's fantastic. We have three points to spend, so we can buy something else as well. Iron gut which is less food illness. I think we, what do we want to do here? Better vision at night, transfers items quick, quicker, less time to read books, or not affected by weather conditions or iron gut. I'm thinking faster reader because we're, might actually offset the slow learner. We can actually read books quicker. So let's do that. Let's add that. So I think we got a pretty complex character. So let's go over our character real quick before we jump in. So our aiming's up 25, 125%. percent 
our fitness is looks like it's even, which may be good, maybe bad. Our reloading, our nimble, we're actually a little bit quicker. Our reloading's up 100%, so we're doing it twice as quick. We're actually faster, set by 75%. We've got five in strength. I'm thinking we should go melee here. We'll be able to hit pretty hard with melee weapons. So we're gonna jump right in. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. I really don't really know how to play the game that much yet. But we're gonna jump in. We're gonna have fun. It is not that big of a deal. It is not that big of a deal. So let's see here. I'm gonna try to make these about 10 to 15 minutes because we're gonna be trying to do as much as we can each episode. Try to survive, stockpile, maybe find somewhere to really set up shop. This game's really interesting because your vision's literally limited to where your character's looking. So you can get snuck up upon. I'm gonna probably poop my pants way too many times in this game. Okay. We need to be quiet, we need to be careful. Okay, so we're in a house. It appears to be a small house. I don't think it has an upstairs. Let's check our inventory. We don't have anything. So we really need to scour through this house. And hopefully we find a weapon. Let's hope we can find a weapon. No loot around here anywhere. Um, we got a bookshelf with a bunch of stuff, which is really not going to help us at this point. Got our kitchen, which... Okay, so we have nine mils. So we're going to grab our nine mils. That's good. Grab the butter knife. Something's better than nothing. Got some whiskey. Gonna get hammered. Fuck yeah. Okay. And if you haven't noticed, I don't care about cursing at this point. I curse pretty often. Okay, we need to... I need to be quiet in case there's zombies in our house. Okay, there's nobody in here. Let's see what's in these containers. Okay. Got, uh, got some books and stuff for entertainment. You guys hear anything? I don't hear anything. Okay, that's good. That's good. Got a baseball bat. That's a big deal, guys. That is a big, big, big deal. We have a weapon. Let's equip the weapon. Guys, I'm nervous. Like, I am, like, sweaty a little bit. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be fun. Okay, nobody in the closet. Okay, open the door. Nobody in the bathroom. Okay. I'm wondering if we... Okay. Bath towels will be good. I think we can put those over the windows. Zombies can see in windows. And we'll try to break in. We got sheets. Sheets do the same thing. We'll be able to cover those. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. This game makes me really nervous for whatever reason. Okay. Okay. So no zombie in the house, which is good. Let's see what kind of stuff we have. We have another baseball bat. If we can find nails, we can make a nailed baseball bat, which is good. Okay. So we've got a bunch of stuff that we can use to gain XP. I think we go out and explore a little bit. We cover up the windows and then go out and explore a little bit. Try to remain safe. I don't think zombies can see upstairs. So let's see if we can cover the window. We'll add the sheet. We'll close the curtains. Guys, I don't know why I'm so nervous right now. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Okay. So we're going to close all these curtains. This is going to be a lot of fun, guys. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be a lot of fun. No, we don't want to open that. I'm going to add sheet. Okay, I think that's water dripping. We can relax on that. We have a couple windows, a door... What is this? Let's go out. Okay, this is a closet. Okay. All right. I think what we need to do is we need to go out. We need to find some more sheets. We can close this curtain. Okay, these, these actually have curtains. That's good. We don't want anybody seeing in. We don't want zombies to be able to see in. I don't think there are any other survivors in the game. I think we are the only one. So we've got curtains all downstairs, I think. I don't think... I think actually the door needs curtains. Do we have anything we can... Okay, we don't. All right, so we're going to open the door, close door. We're in panic mode. We're in panic mode. Hopefully there's a close by house, and there is. Hopefully there's no zombies. Okay, there's one zombie. Need to be careful. Do we want to try? Okay, two zombies. This guy's, gonna, this guy's coming at us. He sees us. 
Okay, we hit him. Knock him on the ground. Okay, let's take him out here. He's dead. He's actually two hit because of our strength. I think that's because of our strength. Okay, we're going to look in. I think we need to do a, a walk around the house just to make sure. Okay, there's a bunch of zombies here. I don't think we want to be here right now. We're going to get out of here. There's way too many zombies in the back. They'll see in the windows. And we don't we don't want to risk that. You know what? Maybe let's go fight them. If we can get rid of them, if there's not too many, could probably take them around little by little here. Alright, try to... Let's try to take them out. No regrets. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sit down. I think she's dead. No, she's not. She's down. She's dead. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Just keep her down. And she's dead. Okay, that's two down. Here's another one. Take her down. Bam! Sit down. Sit down. Okay, we're doing okay, gang. We are doing okay. I'm not seeing it. Okay, I see one more zombie. I think we... Bam! One hit a quitta. Oko, baby. Oko. Alright, now we have to be careful in the house. We have to be very careful. We have to scope out each room. I actually did a little bit of a play earlier where I was looking in the different I played just a little bit to get used to the game and I think I was actually in this house I started in this house this is a really good house to start in okay we have to be careful two rooms up here okay there's nobody up here and there's nobody in here okay we're good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stockpile everything doesn't appear that there's anything in here no books I'm actually tempted to move in here I feel actually a little bit more comfortable in this place and the reason I say that is because it's got enough stairs so if things were to get fishy downstairs we'd be okay we'd be okay wow this is was not really worth the time there's like nothing here there's nothing here it was already looted all right let's see there's nothing even in this crate this house was already looted that's unfortunate that's very unfortunate but that's okay we took out five or six zombies there that was really good. All right, I think we need to keep keep moving. I think we look at another house. We peek in the windows. We do a scope. Okay, we got a guy here. Let's secure the perimeter first. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Okay, we got our baseball bat. Sit down. Sit down. Oh man, look at all that blood. And he is down. Okay, let's keep an eye out for other zombies. Okay, we're gonna sneak up behind this dude. Hopefully he didn't hear us. And sit down. Sit your ass down. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. There we go. We're survivors. We're surviving. I see stuff in this house. That's good to see. Let's hope there's not too many zombies in here. Because it's really hard. Because you don't get... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're good. Let's keep an eye out. I'm not seeing anything in here, gang. I am not seeing anything in here. Let's go upstairs. Actually, let's go in here first. Okay, there's nobody in the bathroom. Probably going to be, be people in the bedrooms. There's nobody in the bedroom. Okay. Alright, let's look in here first. Okay, I don't see anybody in here either. Okay, this is good. This is good. Beautiful. Okay, okay. We got one more room. No, but there's nobody in the house. There's nobody in the house. That's good. All right, so let's loot. All right, so we're going to take... We're going to literally take everything. We're not far from home. We're just going to grab literally everything. We've got a rat. Probably cook that. Uh, sheets. I'm going to take all the sheets. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. Grab all. We can get overcumbered. That's fine. That is fine. Some more disinfectant. That's good. 
These seats are good. They have a lot of uses. Oh, that's cool. Mute sneezes and cough, coughs with the tissues. That's pretty neat. I think this game's pretty deep. There's a lot that you can do in this game. There's a lot that you can overcome in this game. Uh, school bag. That's huge. That is huge. Let's grab. We're getting hungry. Let's grab all this. You know, skirts and stuff are good for bandages. Magazine for entertainment. That's good. All right. Let's go in here and see what we can find in here. See what we can find in here. I see some zombies. Ooh, a hiking bag. Even better. Even better. Let's equip that on our back. Let's grab some more sheets. Let's grab some shoes and we'll grab the underwear. Go check for food and we'll get the heck out of here. Okay, I don't think I got those, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Just trying to stockpile. Try to get in and out and head home. Wonder if we can just if there's a button to loot everything. I'll have to learn that. Baking pan, that's good. Keep our keep an eye out for enemies. Grab. 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 We want everything. We want all of this. Gotta keep our okay, we got matches too. That's good. I don't know what that's gonna do for us, but we got some seeds too in case we find a place we wanna chill in. Okay. Okay. This is fantastic. We're gonna have a lot of food from this. This was good. Oops. This was a really, really good trip, I think. More can opener. Just keep on keeping on. Dish towel's good. Garbage bag. We're just gonna keep loading up on everything. Uh, water bottle. That's a good good thing to have on you as well because your character will automatically drink when they get get hungry or thirsty okay we're gonna head home we're gonna head home gang that was a success okay that was a success I don't think okay yeah we're freaking out because we're outside let's head, let's head home don't need to run don't need to run I actually think our home here has an upstairs too so that's good. That's really good. All right. Close the door. We're going to put some sheets on the door here. No one's going to be able to see us. I think we are sitting pretty. I think we're sitting pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's, let's do a scour throughout the house just to make sure that all our bases are covered, and they look like they are. All right, so let's start putting things away. I think we really need to focus on carpentry, because I believe carpentry, we can board stuff up. So I'm not going to make you guys watch me put stuff away. Or maybe I will next episode, but I'm going to stop it here. I don't want these to be too long. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you get excited about this, because this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to survive as long as we can. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and I'll bring you the next episode real soon. See ya.